The South Side Scoop just got better. We now have our own website. If you missed a show or just want to see one again, you could watch them all online. Not only does the website have all the latest shows, but it gives you some more information about what broadcast is about. You may also check out our blog space, giving you all the latest news throughout the community and around our world. Not only are our shows on the website, but you could also check out our YouTube channel, Southside Scoop, with all of the shows. Don't forget to visit www.southsidescoop.com. Good morning, Park Hill South, and welcome to the South Side Scoop. I'm Zach Ricketts. And I'm Sung Hyun. Today is a black day. Zach, it was a big weekend. How it, was it? It was a big weekend, Sung. It was nice. Three-day weekend. Always right. enjoyable. So. Are you ready for the big game tonight? Uh, I am ready for the big game. I it's don't know what big out. game you're talking about. Oh, pink out. Yeah, the pink panther for breast cancer. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Make sure yeah. all of you guys come support them, too. Come support the Lady Panthers basketball team at their annual Pink Panther game tonight. Buy a pink scarf during lunch and support the cause. There will be a raffle and a three-point contest during halftime. Wear your scarf to the game and get a free raffle ticket. Come see some of our very own South teachers dance when we reach our fundraising goal as well. From the court to the pool, congratulations to the girls' swim and dive team for winning their 11th straight conference championship. We had many first place winners and conference winners in general. Congratulations, girls. Make sure you remember to bring your suits tomorrow for team pictures. If you're more of a dancer, try out to be a Southside girl. Pick up your audition packet in the front office today to learn more about this award-winning team in the audition process. From Dance to Cheer, cheerleading will be holding their first open gym tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. Anyone is welcome to attend. Singing in choir next year, there will be a meeting after school today in the choir room for students who are interested in auditioning for choir next year. The meeting will last about 15 minutes. This meeting will also be repeated tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. in the choir room. Auditions will take place on February 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. See Ms. Brockhoff in the choir room if you have any questions about choir registration and auditions. Moving on to clubs, natural helpers, don't forget that you will be having a meeting this Wednesday at 7 a.m. in room C209. If you're interested in being in student council next year, listen up. Applications are still available outside room B107 and are due tomorrow. See Ms. Matthews or Ms. Jones for more information. Those aren't the only applications that are available. The application period for the third annual Riverside Junior Police and Fire Academy will commence on Wednesday. The third entrant class will commence on March 27th in room A111 and run for four weeks on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school from 3 to 4 p.m. See Officer Westridge for more details. Spring sports are coming up. If you're a boy interested in playing golf this year, make sure to attend a meeting after school on Thursday in room A223. Important information will be distributed at this time. So, Sung, I was driving into school today. I mean, I had frost on my windshield before I left. I had to scrape that right. off. That was annoying. Um, it was really foggy. You couldn't see anything. There was a wreck. You know, just I agree. not good weather. I know, but let's send it on over to John Holden and find out what's going on. This morning it was actually kind of ridiculous on your way into school. If you would notice that any fog is uh, overwhelming tables right now, you actually cannot see the parking lot, which is actually kind of amazing to me. Front nine downtown, 30 and uh, 30 and North Lane, 26 in and 28 in Lee Summit. Take a look at the hourly forecast. Right now it is 29 degrees. You head into noon, it's going to be 43. At 3 p.m., it is going to be 52. Going into your evening, it will drop down to 6 p. Oh, at 6 p.m., it's going to drop down to 45. At 9 p.m., it will drop down to 40. And at 12, if anyone doing some late night studying, I suggest you do not go outside because it will be 38 degrees. So take a look at the three-day forecast: high of 54, low of 35 today. On Tuesday, high of 43, low of 25. This is where you'll see the snow and the precipitation coming into your evening, going into Wednesday morning. Now, if you look at that, you will notice that the uh, precipitation is going to be snowing at first, and then when it gets warm throughout the day, it will go up um, and become rain. And on Wednesday, it's going to be a high of 40 and a low of 24. That is all I have for you today. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, John. On the lunch menu today, we have chicken nachos, sausage and pancakes, beef and, beef and cheese burrito, and the premium meal is the pasta bar. And you know something? I like those chicken nachos, so I might. Two lunches? 
I don't know, my mom's been limiting my price range. So she's been getting mad about it. So I don't know. And happy birthday to to Victoria Moore, Kaiser, Kayla Simmons, Benjamin Strong, Leah Strong, and Haley Temple. Happy birthday, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today on the South Side Scoop. I'm Sung Ha. Huh? And I'm Zach Ricketts. And it's Moving Monday, Sung, so you know what that means. Oh, Moving Monday. John Holden, where are you? John, where are you? It's moving. Really